Hey guys, what is up? Mac Attack here. Welcome back to another Mac Hacks video on the channel. It has been quite a little bit since we had a Mac Hacks, but uh, I did want to share something with you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a custom world or a custom map to an MC Pro hosting server. Alright, so the first thing you guys want to do is uh, go to um, this link right here, which I will leave in the description. You want to download FileZilla. Basically, it is an FTP client. Um, this allows you to work on um, server stuff without having to go to the Multicraft panel on the MC Pro Hosting website. Just kind of ma uh, kind of makes it a little bit easier. I mean, it's up to you, but I think personally this is the easiest way to install custom worlds. So um, as this is Mac hacks, I do show you how to do it on a Mac. So obviously you're going to click the Mac OS X download right here, and I'm assuming the Windows ones are somewhere here, or Linux, but, uh, but yeah. So click on the Mac one, you're going to download it. Um, it's going to be a zip file, open it up. Um, when you open it up, I actually have a, I don't have a copy, but I'll show you guys. Uh, you're going to download it. Um, it's going to pop up here, I think. Yeah, once these five seconds are up. Let me turn my phone sound off real quick, guys. All right, so once these five seconds are up, you are going to, uh, actually, it should automatically start downloading. Alrighty guys, so it doesn't look like a regular zip file, and it says like .bz2, but it is a zip file, so just go right into your downloads, uh, right here we have, and it is right there, FileZilla, open it on up, I actually have the zip right there, oh well, um, it's going, I'm using Archive Utility to open up zip files, so let's wait for this to happen, and what should happen is it's just the regular application, um, no other like readme files, no folders, just the actual application. Alrighty guys, so there it is, FileZilla, it says 2 because I already had downloaded it once, but um, I changed the icon in my dock, as you guys know I like changing my icons, um, but this is FileZilla, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. Alrighty guys, so while we are opening up that uh, application, we're going to actually exit out of this, if we can, there we go, and go right to a uh, parkour map that I found, this map is made by Khakis or Nick Star Wars 1, I've done a couple of his maps and I'm planning to do a few more in the future. So, basically, you just need to find a map, a custom map, parkour, adventure, whatever it may be. Download it. Simple uh, simple thing. You guys probably already know how to do this. And if you do, um, I will be uh, making um, annotations in the video so you can skip ahead. Okay, guys. So, we have our parkour map downloaded as a zip file. And we also have FileZilla opened in the background. We're going to go ahead and extract this parkour map. Okay, guys, we have our parkour map right here, unusual parkour. This part's very important. You're going to rename the file as a, um, just one word, basically. I'm just going to call it unusual parkour. But uh, to upload files into your server root directory through FileZilla, you can't have any spaces or characters. So I'm just going to call it unusual parkour. Unu unusual parkour. Did I spell that right? Oh, I see what happened. Okay, I did. But yeah, so now you're just going to move this over. Um... This is, uh, this part's also important, so just bear with me here. Alrighty, guys, we are on the MC Pro Hosting website. You're gonna go to the server that you want to upload the custom world to. In this case, it's my private server. Alright, right here on the left under server, you're gonna go to Files and FTP File Access. Alright, this is your server root directory right here, if it comes up. And there it is. Alright, this is your actual server uh, root directory, but instead of uploading things right to here, which I find is a little bit difficult, uh, I'm doing it through FileZilla. So you're going to go to FTP credentials. You're going to need these four pieces of information, all right? Your IP is going to be your host. All right? Your port is going to be your port. And your username is going to be the username that is listed right here, all right? Uh, it's probably not the same username that you actually use to log into MC Pro Hosting, but it might be just because I have two servers. But anyway, use this username, whatever's there, and your password is going to be the password that you made for MC Pro Hosting. All right, you're going to input all that information, click Quick Connect. It's going to take a, uh, maybe a couple minutes to uh, get all the uh, files loaded in. In my case, I actually have mine saved. This is my private history right here. Alright, so as you can see, I have many different worlds. I have a parkour, uh, this is actually peculiar parkour, and this is the original world um, that spawned when I created the server. So, what's uh, next is really simple, you're just going to grab the folder, drag it right here to the slash, um, if you know you're in the right place, the, the plus comes up. Alright, drag it in, and now these files are queuing, um, you can see the files are successfully transferring. This is going to take maybe 2-3 to three minutes, so just wait till everything transfers, and I will see you in a bit. Alrighty guys, and we are back. As you can see, everything in the queue is uh, successfully transferred over. There were no failed transfers, so that is all good. Alright, there is one last step you have to do. You're going to go to back to your uh, control panel on MC Pro Hosting. 
all right you are going to scroll down to worlds you're going to add a world and you are going to name it the exact same thing that you named the folder in which your custom world was in all right the folder that you dragged into filezilla that is what you're going to um call the world here then you're going to choose it from the drop down menu click save and restart your server Alrighty guys, my server's all restarted, as you can see the green button is a go, and we're on to Minecraft right here, right, let's just refresh just in case. Alrighty guys, and this is the world, this is definitely a different world than I had before, so it did successfully work. Um, there's one last thing I have to show you, um, is sometimes in maps you have to enable command blocks, so you're just going to go to files and config files, you're going to go to server settings, scroll down a, t uh, where is it? A little bit um, command blocks command blocks command. there it is enable command blocks make sure it's clicked as enabled if it's not i um, just enable it save it uh, you might have to restart the server I don't know because mine's already enabled but if you do if it's not working when you get back into the game just restart the server and it should work and that is gonna be the video if you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up it is always greatly appreciated it makes uh, me know that you guys found the video helpful if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can and I will also leave some links from MC Pro hosting talking about FileZilla and FTP clients in the description that's how I learned all of this so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video peace